And right now, it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's special guest is Murray Adlington. Murray is the president of the 24th Battalion Association. The association was formed just after the ending of the Second World War to continue the bonds, the friendships and the camaraderie of the 3,500 men who fought in the 24th. With the passing of time, there is today only 23 original members left. At the Auckland War Memorial Museum, the final march into the sunset. We welcome Murray Adlington as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Murray Adlington, welcome to The Beat Goes On. Thank you very much. A pleasure to be here. Very sad occasion for you, Murray. Uh, it's the end of a, or the termination of a wonderful association called the 24th Battalion. Did you ever think that day would come? We are the last remaining uh, infantry battalion and uh, we, we brought in the second generation people to uh, help us through. In the end, we found it, it wasn't really fair on those people to uh, continue the same as we had. Therefore, we made the decision to terminate. And uh, they've got their young families to uh, uh, look after and care for, and uh, uh, they've been a wonderful help, but uh, I think it's the right thing to do to release them and terminate the association. The Auckland War Memorial Museum, there'll be a big occasion there with the Governor General. How many left? that will march off into the sunset. Well, we had a meeting yesterday and uh, 23 have registered. 23. But uh, hopefully there will be a few more. And altogether, uh, the, the, our widows have been wonderful supporters. Mm. And uh, at the dinner itself will be over 250. So that's a wonderful response. But what's your age now, Murray? What uh, what have you reached this in this grand well, age stakes? I won't be ninety until next year. You're nearly ninety. Great to reach the age that you are, Murray. Because when you look at it, um, there were three thousand five hundred men joined the twenty fourth battalion over its uh, period. Five hundred were killed. Five hundred and twenty. Five hundred and twenty is our roll of honour. Five hundred and twenty out of three thousand five hundred. That's mm. nearly fourteen percent. So, when you guys got on that boat and left for overseas, fourteen out of every hundred weren't going to come home. Did you give that much thought when you were on the not, boat? Not at all. And you have uh, a book here with the the roll of honour. Yes. And you look at it, killed in action. Just just the first three: Lieutenant Colonel Greville. Killed on the 22nd of July 1942. Major Magruther on the 14th of July 1944. This is the, just the first three, so. Mm -hmm. uh, Major Thompson, killed on the 7th of December 1943. Captain Beasley, Captain McDonald. Wonderful guys. Look at that, Murray. That's a t tremendous sacrifice for our country, isn't it? What were you thinking at the time when you got the call up and you had to go overseas? and? You're a young man, of course. How old were you when you left? 21 year old. 21. Mm. Did you see it as an, an adventure or did you think, I've got to go and do my duty? When I arrived at the battalion, they'd just come out of casino. Just come out so of they casino. They had been fighting before you arrived. And they'd yeah. taken a, a, a big mauling. I entered the battalion with trepidation that I'd come, taken this long to get there. Yeah. You thought you were and, going to be too late? <laughs> and their response was, uh, Lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. And uh, I think that's something I've carried all my life. The uh, wonderful response I got from those uh, was uh, yeah. uh, senior uh, members. So how many battalions were fighting around you? You were the 24th. What other battalions were there? 2-1 was there, 21 battalion. When we arrived at uh, Egypt, we were given the choice of uh, going to 2-1 or 2-4. And uh, some of the chaps with me had uh, uh, contacts in two four. Will you come with? Will you come with me to two four? Were you at any stage really frightened for your life and li just fearful of it? it? Was a terrible carnage going on around you? Can you remember? Oh, absolutely. Mm. I, I don't think uh, 
anyone could uh, really say that they weren't affected. Do you still have dreams about it sometimes? Not at all. Not at all. No nightmares or no, <laughs> no. wake up in the middle of the night with the sound <laughs> of shells thumping into the ground and, or the bed? You, you put the um, sad things of life behind you, I think. Mm. And uh, you look on the bright side. You have to, otherwise you, uh, you'd go under. Now, 1945, they declared peace. Did you say to yourself, oh, I made it through? Well, uh, I, I'd been uh, invalid at home. Oh, you'd, you had got wounded? Yes. So tell us about that. It was an occasion uh, when we were advancing up through uh, Italy and uh, the destination was Florence. And uh, just a stray shell landed on the road as we were going up uh, towards San Michel. That collected four of us. Uh, Where did the shrap shrapnel hit you? Um, all over uh, the body or? Yes, uh, I got hit in the back. Oh. But I was uh, the furthest one away, the chappie that um, uh, took the brunt of it. Uh, He's now in, uh, living in uh, Tiamutu. Uh, he's a double amputee, and uh, he uh, tends to his he lives on his own and attends to his garden and keeps all the neighbours uh, supplied with the uh, vegetables. The throw of the dice, isn't it? That, that could have been you, couldn't it? Yes. And of course, now you've sent home and you recovered well. Well, it took me about 18 months. 18 months. And then I, after that, I... Of course, the war would probably be over by then, wouldn't it? But oh, yes. You felt, right. uh, you felt a sigh of relief on the day that they said it's all over. Uh, yeah. I would say so, yeah. yes. Now then, around about June 1947, uh, Major Sam Lee, who was with the 24th, he was killed in a road accident. Mm. And a lot of your members from the 24th went to the funeral and at the end, after it, you said, gosh, we should get together and form an association called the 24th Battalion Association that, and, um, and, and make sure that we don't lose touch with each other. Yes. And that was in 19, uh, on the 2nd of July, 1947. It was finally all, mm. uh, well, it all came together. 65 years later, basically, mm. you were, the, the, the association is, is terminating. Yes. So it is with great sadness. All I hope is that on the day, they all, all our guests will enjoy themselves mm. and uh, uh, celebrate it accordingly. So after it's all over, Murray, if, uh, if what do you think has been the, the most important thing that's come out of this, this whole affair? The comradeship that... Uh, uh, we established as, in, uh, as a fighting force and uh, uh, the companionship that uh, we mm. had. You were a band of brothers, weren't you? A we, band of absolutely, brothers. Yes. Absolutely. Murray, I'd like to thank you on behalf of everyone in New Zealand for serving your country, being there when it counted, when it counted, and uh, wish you all the best Saturday evening at 5.30 when, when the remaining guys as, as you say, it's, they're going to march into the sunset. That's right. Have a wonderful day. Thank, thank, you, thank you for being on The Beat Goes On. Thank you very much. Thank you, Murray. And thank you for the opportunity to uh, tell the story, express our uh, lifetime experiences. <laughs>